Why would Jesus be so comfortable with this very family? To the extent that whenever he went to Jerusalem, he would always visit this family and spend some time with them. In fact, the scripture says that he loved Martha and his sister and Lazarus. And on one occasion in the Gospel of Luke, we saw Jesus visiting this same family and spending some time with them in the house of Martha and Mary. Now, the question that everybody will continue to ask is, what is it that could draw a man closer to a family? To the extent that this man will be so attached to a family more than his own biological family. There is something that every man needs, every human being. Love, understanding, faith, peace of mind. Any place where these attributes are found, it is not a house, it is a home. In any institution where these things are lacking, no matter how beautiful that edifice is, it is simply a house lacking the qualities of a home. And so Jesus was drawn to this very family because they believed in him. You could see from the language of matter, I believe that you are the son of God, the one who is to come into the world. Mary, on approaching Jesus, declared, Lord, if you had been here, Lazarus would not have died. This is strong faith. Dear friend, God is drawn to the person who expresses faith. And that's why Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, without faith, nobody can please God. The raising of Lazarus from death had to do with the cross of Jesus. It had to do with the final glorification of the Lord, which is passion, death and resurrection. And Jesus could have avoided this completely. But for the sake of his love and for the sake of the greater love for the humanity. And later the scripture tells us that it was on account of Lazarus that, that the Jews decided to kill Jesus. And they even planned to kill Lazarus again. Are you getting this? So what price can we pay? What price can we pay for our family? Is your family at home? Where peace, love, faith, understanding thrive. May the Lord Jesus bless us and may it be well with you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.